guys, if you want to learn how to make these cupcakes, then keep on watching. First, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Take out your cupcake pan and fill it with cute cupcake liners. To start, we will need to make the cupcake batter, so start by putting 150 grams of room temperature butter cut into cubes into your mixer with one cup of cast sugar and beat this until it is smooth and a very light white kind of color. Also remember to use a spatula to scrape down the sides of your mixer while it's mixing to make sure it all gets combined. The next step is to add your eggs. Just add one egg at a time, beating in between and using a spatula to scrape the side and make sure it's all combined and lovely. Now is the slightly more complicated part because you see normally normal people would add all the dry ingredients together in a bowl at the start but I was too lazy to do that and also these ingredient amounts are quite odd because I'm doing two-thirds of the recipe. So just follow along exactly and you should get it right and I'll put the recipe amounts down below so you won't get confused. First off, add two-thirds of a teaspoon of baking powder and one-third of a teaspoon of baking soda. And then the amount of cocoa powder you eventually need to put in is half a cup, but you're only going to add a little bit of this for the moment and you're also only going to add a little bit of one and one third cups of plain flour and about half of the milk and mix this all up to make sure it mixes thoroughly and nicely and at the end of it it should look kind of like chocolate mousse it should smell absolutely delightful and um, please don't eat it because we want to decorate it and make it look lovely before we eat it, although it is delicious if you just eat the batter. Once it is all mixed and it kind of looks like this, then put your batter into your cupcake cases. I did a tablespoon and a half probably. I just did a random big scoop with a tablespoon and then plopped it in. It's supposed to be about three quarters of the cupcake case. Cook the cupcakes for around 16 minutes and then pull them out. Um, just push on the top and if it springs back and if you poke a toothpick in it and it comes out clean, then your cupcakes are ready and you can take them out. Then you're going to want to take your cupcakes out of the tray, which is actually more difficult than I thought if they're stuck to the pan. Just scrape around it with a sharp knife and then kind of use the knife to poke it out and then put all your cupcakes onto a rack to cool. While your cupcakes are cooling just make the ganache for the top. So first of all you're going to put half a cup of cream into a bowl that's microwavable safe and put that into the microwave and heat it and stir it very frequently. So I did about 10 second or 15 second bursts of the microwave which might seem ridiculous but I really didn't want to split my cream because otherwise the ganache just doesn't look very appetizing. It will still taste the same but it doesn't look the same so just be very careful when microwaving your cream and then once it is nice and hot and steaming a little bit then add in your chocolate pieces this is 250 grams of chocolate and let it melt over time just let it sit there and also stir it and then pop it in the fridge to set and once everything is cooled down then take your ganache out and put in icing sugar just a little bit at a time. Um, I probably did half a cup in the end of icing sugar. Uh, stir it around with a whisk, a metal one. I didn't have that so I just used a random beater I found in my drawer, just one of them, and I whipped it and put it into a ziplock bag, closed it up, tied it with a elastic band and then I cut off the corner and here's the trouble if 
you didn't do very well at making your ganache. If you've got lumps in it, then it'll be very difficult to pipe like it was for me and it looks like a very messy poo. So try to make smooth ganache, but you know, it doesn't really matter. You can just squirt on and smooth it out with a knife, which is what I did, and they turned out pretty cute. So once you've done that, you'll probably have leftover ganache like me and you can just store that in the fridge and just eat it or put it on some other cupcakes. But once you have iced all of your cupcakes, then you're going to decorate and I thought it would be pretty cute to put little Malteser bunnies on and I found these little smarty easter eggs and they look very cute and eastery since these are supposed to be Easter cupcakes. Okay, so you're probably all wondering who won the giveaway. Who won the Frosted Cranberry Bath and Body Works candle? So I wrote the people who entered the giveaway all on a little piece of paper and put it into a random Christmas tree dish that I found around the house. And I got my dad to pick out a name and the winner is Kelly Watson. So I will be messaging you and you will get the candle very soon and thank you for watching and enjoy and I use other recipes I will have the links down below and thank you for watching bye see you in the next video did Danny know this whole time we were living with frauds